Welcome to the world of the modern classic. Factory resto mod bikes that look and sound like beautiful pieces of classic machinery, but offer modern features and modern price tags too. This is the hottest category in motorcycles today, and BMW's R9 T is perhaps the best looking. BMW makes five different flavors of this bike, and this is the most recent. It's the BMW R9 T Urban GS, and while that name may sound a bit like an oxymoron if you're a fan of classic Beamers, the truth is, it's actually a pretty great bike. Let's take a closer look. Yes, we'll throw a leg over this thing soon enough, but since modern classics are as much about looks as they are about performance, I figured we'd start with some epic slow pans to appreciate the design of this beautiful thing. Now, while the tank is lifted straight from the other R90 variants, the distinctive headlight fairing and that high front fender give the Urban GS a look that is a definite throwback to the R80 GS from the 1980s. That plus the white tank and red seat make this something of an homage to BMW's Perry Dakar winning rides of yore. But don't be fooled by that styling. Like the other R9Ts, the Urban GS is powered by BMW's classic air-cooled boxer twin that actually saw its first service in a real GS over a decade ago. Back then it was rated for 110 horsepower and 89 pound-feet of torque. Here it's rated for 110 horsepower and 86 pound-feet of torque. Yes, that means the bike has properly earned its heritage designation, but don't read that as hate. While those figures are indeed somewhat modest by modern leader bike standards, there's more than enough scoot here. Okay, so this isn't BMW's most high-tech advanced motor on the planet. But despite the fact that it's a little bit old, it actually works really well this bike. Boxer twins are all about torque, you can hear for sure. This bike has tons of it. Anytime you crack open the throttle, <laughs> it just surges forward. It's definitely not an engine that's intended for high speed runs around a racetrack. It's much more about squirting through traffic or blasting out of twisty corners like this. It's a really fun motor and it sounds really great with this exhaust. It's a little bit raspy, a little bit raucous. It sounds great. It definitely makes you want to crack open that throttle. <laughs> Right. But there are some complaints about this motor, probably the biggest one, you get a lot of vibration here and that can be a little bit tiring on the highway. You want to keep the revs low if you can to try to minimize that. Maybe not the best motor for touring, but for blasting around country roads like this, it's really, really fun. Yes, the Urban GS is mostly about looks, but thankfully, it's really great to ride too. It's nimble and torquey enough to be fun, but stable and comfortable enough for daily riding. And it just oozes character. And when you're talking about modern classics, that's really what it's all about.
Thanks for watching and let us know in comments what you think about the Urban GS. Should it be more like the GS or more like an urban bike? And also, if you like our motorcycle coverage, let us know if you want to see more of that too. And make sure you check out the full details over at theroadshow.com.